All right, so sup, guys? What's good? This is Mr. Wonka Seven or Leon Red or whatever the fuck they call me, and I'm about to talk about something in my local neighborhoods. Now, I'm gonna change the name of our character. See, we're gonna focus on a subject: a local politician who had to resign two years ago and is, has faced a charge of five years in prison. This is a guy I used to associate myself with back when I wanted to be a politician. And we're going to call him Phil. Now, you guys might ask yourself, why is Phil resigning and facing prison charges? Well, that's just because two years ago he admitted to spending 106 k on... That was meant to go for something that would help uh, corporations on helping out, bailing out his sister, and two other things which were considered felonies. I think it proves the point I made in anti statism circa 2012 and in my another don't vote video video, where I said that. A politician can get away with anything and he would still be in office and doing crap but as soon as he does something that gets his ass um, shot at it by the state then he's basically a dead man is that's the way it works I consider myself an anti-statist. I say this in every video. I have to identify myself as this all the time. And I know that states have a lot of demands for their fantasy structures and the agents of the state, the main agents, which are the politicians, who are the faces of that state, they don't sustain the state. The rest is basically cooked by the other monocentric agents of that state. Someone. Oh, someone's just using the bathroom. Alright. So, what were this guy's tactics? Well, one of his tactics which is something that was mentioned in Ryan Falk's 100 epiphanies is the tactic of nationalism and a lot of agents of the state like to use nationalism to achieve their goals and what he did was that he used a form of nationalism which I like to call Hispanic nationalism and he used that harmless little device to run that harmful fantasy structure that's why the past three politicians have been Hispanic and the past three politicians have tried to make the Hispanics the uh, number one most populated most dominant group And you can, there's nothing wrong with nationalism, but using nationalism in that sense has helped him run the fantasy structure of his state and moreover hurt everyone else. A few good things he tried to do were surprisingly to help that organization, that helped that group, that minority. Which is a ma majority right here, actually. The Hispanics are the majority of this, these neighborhoods, these three to four neighborhoods that he runs. But the thing is that it's also hurt people. It's hurt landlords because now he's given these minorities the edge. They can get these landlords to court and lose hundreds of thousands of dollars under suspicion of being racist or doing hate crimes 
to them. Which is why landlords have been a bit more unnaturally merciful. And houses have had worse and worse conditions over the years. Because they're afraid to be assertive for the rent and consequentially they get less money revenue which would be used to make the little apartment better. Another tactic he would use is that he would try and he put, focused a lot of elements on housing with his Hispanic nationalism. That's kind of what was hurting these housing corporations and helping them too. He would constantly engage in these corporatist uh, Hispanic nationalist tactics to really put favoritism towards those housing corporations that would res most respect his little idiocentric movement of these neighborhoods and those would be the ones that would survive whereas the other ones would basically weaken and die out and as for art programs they all have a similar result similar emphasis and similar yeah condition that's to help the corporations that could assist him in his little idiocentric Latino nationalism and hurt the ones that don't participate in this idiocentric Latino Hispanic nationalism and that's what he likes to do he's been doing this for seven years now well, he did it for seven years, and then his ass was cooked as soon as he did something that would reveal to the states that he basically turned his back on them, started focusing on his personal life. And that's what basically sent him down the drain and into the prisons. And that was what was to become of his fate. That's what I gotta say all in all. In conclusion, his legacy was to have another politician who would engage in this similar Hispanic run nationalism, this idiocentric thing which would help the corporations that actually complied to it. And to this day, Hispanics are wondering why it's actually backfiring. Because as the taxation is rising in those areas, the same Hispanics who are clamoring for him to help them out lower the taxes so that their innate income differences could be met and they could remain instead of moving to a place where there's lower taxation he's doing the opposite he did the opposite instead of lowering local taxes he's tried to blame it on the corporations blame it on the housing agencies blame it on the land boards which is something he's done for a long time instead of tr trying to lower the taxes that he's been raising and his legacy and his influence what they've done is that they blame the landlords for the higher gross loss for these Hispanics, the higher money that they had to pay. And it was really the taxation that's being raised. And the problem wasn't really the landlords or the people in the housing agencies. And those are the same tactics that are being used today. So that's all I gotta say, all in all. 
that's pretty much all I have to say. He'll be back in three years when this becomes a very different world. And by then, even then, there'd still be Hispanic nationalism and blaming the housing agencies and that don't comply with his rules, which help the housing agencies that do comply with his rules and the schools that have the programs that run his little idiocentric preferences for stuff like art programs that would be biased towards Latinos and have those minimalistic influences and the ones that don't get screwed over and yeah alright I'm done I'm Leon or Mr. Wonka 7 or whatever the hell they call me nowadays and y'all can suck my dick <laughs>